In this video, we are going to see how we are going to be using ship ERP to ship our products from the warehouse. Uh, we're going to start to start the operation showing uh, creating the outbound delivery. And you're going to see slightly the differences of how you are used to be doing it up until now and how you will be doing it uh, with ship ERP. So I have here my sales order, uh, my shipping point, and the delivery date range. I'll create the delivery, and here you used to be doing the picking, and uh, so we are going to do the picking as you normally would. Uh, we're going to press enter, and when you were ready to actually ship it, you would normally press post goods issue. However, in this case, we are not going to do that. It's an additional step for ship ERP. We are simply going to save the outbound delivery. And this is going to give us now the outbound delivery number. Let's see uh, some additional information that the outbound delivery now has. Uh, we're going to display our outbound delivery. At the header level of the outbound delivery, the very last tab of the header level, we can reach that. Here there is the ship ERP additional data. We can see that uh, because this is an LTL, uh, less than truckload, based on the weight and the quantity of the product that we are shipping. And the system, ShipERP, has selected for us a specific carrier, Southern Motor Transport. And this was done based on the pricing criteria. Uh, so it shows and the route that we are going to um, use. We can see here all the other uh, uh, all the other carriers that we may want to choose uh, if we want if we wish to. So in this case, the system has chosen uh, this uh, Southern Motor Trans carrier to ship this product with. So now we are going to go into CPRP, and this is a new transaction that. Uh, you will have to put in your favorites. It's the ERPIS forward slash ship ERPN. You're going to go into this transaction. You're going to choose your shipping station because this is an LTL and you're shipping out of the uh, 200. Uh, you're going to use this selection. And the shipping profile you're going to be using is the packaging 2. Because we are shipping out of the of, of this warehouse, we're going to go in, and we are going to enter our outbound delivery. Press Enter. Uh, it brings all the pertinent details. Uh, the carrier. It tells us that this is a less than truckload. And we are going to, it is very important here to enter the tracking number. Uh, I'm going to enter some fictitious tracking number here. And we are going to need to enter how many pallets we're going to use. So uh, I will assume that we're going to use four pallets and we have to ship. 2,000 pieces. Next, we're going to click on the packing button. So we told it that we're going to use four pallets, and therefore here are the four pallets. And we are going to say pack by material. So we have 1,000 units for the first line item and 1,000 units for the second line item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first pallet 
and the first line item. And I'm going to say that from those 1,000 units, I'm going to pack 500 units into this first pallet. So I will click on this button. And now I have a remaining 500 units for the first line item. I'm going to take those remaining 500 units. I'm going to put them on this second pallet. I click the arrow. Now I have 1,000 units for the second line item. I'm going to select the line. I'm going to go to the, my third pallet. I'm going to say I'm going to ship 600 units on this third pallet. And I have a balance of 400 units now that I'm going to pack them in the fourth pallet. Now I have packed all of my materials uh, across all of these uh, four pallets. I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit the execute button. What we are going to see right here at the lower level of the screen, we're going to see the shipment that has been created and the outbound delivery that is inside the shipment. If I click into the shipment, if you want, you can click into the shipment and see all the details that are included into that shipment. And you can see here that it has the three check marks. Uh, you don't need to do anything else. All of these remaining check marks are going to be uh, set after you close the shipment in the ship ERP. And it will also do a post goods issue. I'm going to go say yes. And I'm going to select my shipment and I'm going to say close. What this does is going to set those uh, green check marks on the shipment. So it's going to close the shipment and it will, um, it will also post goods issue on the outbound delivery. So it is posting goods issue here. And we can see here is our shipment document has been closed. I'm going to go back and see the outbound delivery. So inside the details, and we can see that the product has actually shipped. So the outbound delivery is closed. I can see here in my document flow, it has created the shipment. The shipment has ended. If we see the document of the shipment, we can see that all the check marks now has, have been set in the, uh, in the shipment. And this is how you, we use Sherpy to uh, ship our products to our customers.